Hello, um, and welcome to this week's episode of uh, Cookies Rambles. Um, this week, I thought I'd bring you live. Well, it's not live because it's recorded, uh, but from my living room. Um, it's been it's just surpassed four weeks to the twenty first of April, which means it's four weeks now until the London Marathon. Um, I'm knee deep in marathon training. I'm ready for my taper, so I'll take a take you through like a rundown of how I structure my training week, um, what I found that works for me, um, and then the races specifically that I've used to build towards London um, this time around. I've used them in previous years to build towards London before, to use to build towards uh, Manchester Marathon when I've done that um, pre-COVID in, in times gone by. Um, so yeah, join me this week for a, a quick recap in my training so far towards London Marathon 2024. So, as I mentioned last week, um, in terms of structuring your long run, personally, I don't like to focus on distance. I do like to focus on time. But with time and in running does come distance. So I'm going to explain uh, my training weeks in the way that I do it, but then I'll also translate into that that to what it means time because I know a lot of people do focus uh, on uh, the way that I do it, which is time. But I know... A lot of people focus on distance. I will translate it to to distance as well uh, in some way. So kick off Mondays. I, I like to do double runs Monday to Thursday for me. Um, it's a way that I fit them in in and around work and a busy lifestyle. Um, so yeah, I like to do double runs uh, on a Monday through to Thursday. So I kick off Monday with two hours ten minutes. Um, this is usually done in a block of an hour and twenty minutes ish, and then a forty five minute ish in the evening give or take so that does equal two hours and five but it always rounds up here or there um that equates to at tops around 17 and a half mile if i'm if i'm the pace that i'm going at um it is just easy running typically on a monday just nice and easy getting the job done um in mileage it equates to around 11 hours in the morning um and roughly six six and a half in an evening at peak mileage um but I am building up to that and then building back down from that um, as, as you progress through the marathon training blocks. Um, I stretch my week with two sessions. These are on Tuesday and a Thursday. So my first session comes on a Thursday. As the session mileage goes up, my run in the morning goes less. I go out for just a nice easy jog just to get the legs spinning and wake me up. Um, there's a quote um, about lions and gazelles um, and it's, it's from a book. I think it's um, Born to Run. Uh, in the morning a gazelle works up, wakes up and knows that he must outrun the fastest lion um, and the lion wakes up and knows he must outrun the slowest gazelle um, so in the morning I like to get my job done and like to get out running so I just keep that routine on Tuesday morning some mornings it might be 5 or 6 miles some mornings it might just be 3 um, or 4 mile but it's just getting out and, and keeping my routine I like to do a couple of hours on a Tuesday uh, including a session and sessions range obviously in distance in time um, and they're they're a little bit more structured um, and that does equate sometimes at tops to around 20 mile with the sessions as well because the sessions can be quite pacey i've averaged out in this block so far about 18 mile for a tuesday and then for wednesday so into wednesday it's another easy day bearing in mind that i've done um, a fast session on a tuesday night uh, I usually wake up um, and I do run with Kai typically Monday through to Thursday as well in the morning, which makes it nice and easier. Um, if Kai's doing a session on a Tuesday night, he'll drop the Tuesday session, uh, the Tuesday morning run. So yeah, me and Kai wake up on a Wednesday and we'll go out. I'll typically do uh, an hour and twenty, um, an hour and ten in the morning uh, on a Wednesday, and that'll be very achy, very slow, but very nice at the same time. Uh, both me and Kai are in the same position when we're. We're doing them on a Wednesday morning, so yeah, half the time we're just complaining as legs ache. Um, and then Wednesday evening might be about half an hour, 40 minutes, about five mile. Um, so yeah, I average out sometimes at tops, it'd be 16 and a half uh, for a Wednesday. Um, but I do average out typically around 15, 15 and a half for a Wednesday. Uh, and I have done in this marathon block. Um, Thursdays uh, usually comes a typical session. So it's a, a longer session uh, on a Thursday as well. So they're usually like long timed. So we did one this week um, and it was 
25 minutes steady, which were just under six minute miles. And the idea there was to fatigue your legs. And then it was uh, 15 minutes just under marathon pace. Um, yeah, and it's a nice meaty session. It got us in around 12 mile on Thursday night. Um, didn't get to sleep then first night because it was late that we were out running. But in the morning, I, I like to go out and keep my mileage high for Thursday. A lot like Tuesday as well. Um, so in the morning, I'll, I'll balance what I'm doing on the evening um, and just go out for that sort of time. Um, Thursday's has averaged out this time around 2 hours 20 um, for what I've done, which is a nice big day and almost as big as my Sunday as well. Uh, it's the furthest bit away from the Sunday just gone, so I've, I know that I've recovered from that. But then it's also approaching the weekend, which is always quite heavy for me. Um, it does average out just around 20 mile. Um, sometimes the sessions can have quite slow warm up and cool downs, um, but it does average out around 20 mile like the Tuesday sessions. The Tuesday sessions have been a bit shorter um, this time around, but we have got a couple of big ones coming up. Um, so yeah, they've been like 1K efforts at top. So we've had 3K efforts, 2K efforts and so on. Um, but yeah, they've been quite nice as well. And then that's my Thursday done. So that's my two main sessions in a week. And then on a Friday, I like to go out and just do an hour easy. I keep that at single. I like to do it before work, uh, get the job done. Uh, sometimes Kai comes with me on a Friday if I'm lucky and he's not in London. Um, so yeah, that's usually between eight and nine mile on a Friday, which is nice and easy. It's just an hour um, in my, in the, well, I call it the sunlight hour. It's when the moon, uh, the moon's, going down and the sun's coming up so yeah it's it's nice um and then on saturday I like to do a park run uh, this time around i've not treated park runs as efforts as much i've done three particular efforts at park run, well what i tell call efforts in this block uh, i did york park run in in january and illsborough park run the week before they were quite early in the block so the kind of count the kind of don't um, did 15.55 at um, York, which is now my park on PB, and then 16.08 at Hillsborough. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago as well, I went to Hillsborough and did 16.09 with the gang. Um, it was on heavy marathon legs and nothing specific, but felt quite fresh. I will have another crack at a park run um, just before London Marathon as well. Not the day before, I'm not stupid. Uh, a couple of weeks before, hopefully. Uh, we are doing one um, at the weekend as well, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, Saturday sometimes ranges between 10 mile to 14 mile. Um, I like to do an hour and a half uh, on a Saturday morning. So yeah, it just depends how far and how quick. Uh, we have taken the girls to a couple of park runs this time around as well, which has been quite nice. Uh, the girls and the dogs. Um, so yeah, it's been nice to just run with uh, Bessie around park runs as well. <clears throat> if you are liking uh, my ramble on about my marathon training block, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel out and uh, click the little bell if you want notifications and then on to like my main Sunday run uh, I'm not a weekend warrior I do like to get a lot of my mileage done through the week um, but yeah my main Sunday run I've done around 7 now uh, 20 mile runs uh, by the end of uh, well nearly the end of March so yeah I've got a lot of 20 mile runs in the in in the belt already and in the bag so yeah quite happy with them um i've gone i try to go out for like two hours two hours minimum uh on a sunday even when i weren't doing my 20 mile runs uh, and then i've notched it up to about two hours 10 when i am doing my 20 mile runs some of these 20 mile runs will be easy runs uh where i'm just going out at 7 sevens which is, is easy enough for me um, and then some will be blended in with sessions as well to make them interesting. So yeah, I've done a couple of tasty like eight mile efforts. I've done uh, a block of 10 mile. I've blended them in with races uh, and got out and, and got the job, do job done on a Sunday. I like to run as well beyond the time that I'll be doing a marathon. So last weekend, for example, I did 24 mile, uh, which were two hours, 30 minutes, which I explained in last week's video. Um, so yeah, two hours, 30 minutes to be, run beyond the time um, and, and just get out and get my legs moving um, and get used to body being on its feet for that long as well. And I'll do mix it in with like going for a walk with the dogs after to keep time on feet and keep the, the mileage ticking over and, and the body um, sustaining energy for that long. So throughout the marathon block, I do like to focus on, instead of it being a weekly mileage target, I do weekly hours. Um, so it's ranged in January. I was doing it was just under 100 mile a week, which equated to about 11 and a half hours worth of running, which is fine. I weren't 
There were some weeks I think I did 98 mile and Naomi said to me, why don't you go out and do an extra mile? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm, one, I'm focusing on my hours instead. So 11 and a half hours. Obviously it does uh, differ, it depends how the mileage, how fast you run and how slow you run and stuff like that as well. And then I, I lifted it up to about 12, 12 and a half hours as I've built through the block. And then I'll be peaking out around 13 and a half, uh, 14 hours, I believe, uh, throughout this marathon block, which I've been quite pleased with. Uh, my highest mileage week so far has been 116.5, um, and my average has been around 107.6, which has been quite interesting. Um, so yeah, that's how I've, I've structured my weeks uh, throughout the marathon block. Um, so yeah, we had double runs Monday to Thursday, uh, Friday keeping it an easy run, um, session Tuesday and Thursday evening as well. And then a park run, I call it a tempo on a Saturday morning, and then a long run as well on a Sunday. Um, I like to as well stick into the 80-20 rule. So in my peak weeks, my quality mileage will have come uh, for, and it'll have been around the marathon distance throughout the week. So between 25 to 30 miles will have been quality mileage running at sort of marathon paced efforts as well. <clears throat> yeah, throughout this block, as I mentioned, I've had to go at a couple of park runs uh, so far. Um, but I've also had to go at a few races, and I use races as ways to judge where I'm at um, and to build a little bit of fun as well, instead of just doing sessions on a weekend uh, into my into my training. So yeah, throughout the block, I've raced. I've got it up on my power attempt, which is on the laptop behind you. So if I'm looking straight past the camera, that's why. Um, so yeah, I've got it up on my power 10 i've done a two mile race uh, which I ended up pbing at um but yeah i did want to dip 10 minutes but i ended up running 10 or 9 which we're quite happy with then done a mile race on done a couple of mile race on the track which is part of the barnsley ac winter series something i helped to organize so yeah i felt a bit inclined to do them as well then i had to go at york park run 1555 right at the start of the marathon block um, and then did York Brass Monkey half marathon in 1707, which were a PB at the, uh, at the time. So yeah, quite happy with that. So it was a, a very he bad headwind at the, at the time for that race. And then we did Ferriby 10 the week after, uh, which was 53-51 as well, which PB'd again um, for the course, so it was a course PB. Um, my 10 mile PB is 53-19. I did plan on running first uh, 10 mile, um, I think it was last weekend. But yeah, changed my mind and we never entered it because, yeah, I just, in hand, well, looking forward and learning from Cookie of old, I didn't think it would have been a good idea. So yeah, we knocked that one on the head and I'd much rather have a marathon PB than a 10 mile PB anyway. Um, and then, yeah, did a 10K, so Jewsby 10K, was hopeful of PB in there, uh, but again, it was tarnished with a little bit of headwind, but ran 32.12, which ended up being a course PB, so yeah, really happy with that. Uh, and then back on the track, did a 3,000 metres uh, in 9.26, which ended up being a PB for me on Dorothy Iman and a PB overall, uh, which, yeah, happy with that. And then five-mile PB, where I ended up one well five, a local race, finished second overall, um, 26.17 um, for a, another PB, which, yeah, shows, and it's built a little bit of confidence then uh, as I'm going into London. Um, and then as well, Retford Half Marathon a few weeks ago. So, yeah, been wanting to dip 70 minutes for a half for quite a while uh, and ended up dipping it at Retford uh, on the 10th of March and run 69.51. So, yeah, so, yeah, Retford ended up running 69.51 uh, and we're really happy with that as well. As now I build towards London uh, with four weeks to go, I like to do a bit of a sharpener. Um, so I have got Salford 10k on Good Friday, uh, which is next week. Um, so yeah, looking at towards that to try and run at least a little bit quicker uh, than I did at Dewsbury, which would be ideal. Uh, but I have only run, I think I've run uh, under 33 on that course before and it is quite a nice course. It's two 5k loops. Yeah, so it is quite a nice course and it's PB potential. Um, so yeah, I've got that in the calendar. I won't be tapering into any races because uh, marathon is more important. Uh, but my mileage will start to, and my time on feet will start to creep down as I, I do approach the taper anyway. Um, and then I've also going to have a probably, probably a go at a park run, um, maybe the week after Salford, not, definitely not the day after Salford, because uh, that won't be a smart idea. Uh, just to see where I'm at and just get my legs spinning so that marathon pace come race day feels a little bit easier, which is always nice. Yeah, so that's been me 
quick recap. I think it's quick anyway. I've not kept an eye on time. Uh, my recap of my marathon training block so far. Um, how I've structured my weeks for doing a uh, hundred mile week, which is the big number everyone likes to achieve. Um, but how I actually structure it um, focused on time rather than mileage, uh, because that's what Cookie of Old used to do. And remember, as I mentioned last week, your body doesn't know how far you've run. It only knows how long you have run for. So yeah, there's a big difference. Uh, and it's all about keeping your heart rate ticking over for a time so that your body can get used to doing that. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this week. Um, and don't forget to join us next week. I will be doing a Salford 10K race video. So don't forget to join us for that and see how me and Naomi get on over the 10K distance. Bye.